Good evening and welcome to me being cheap. Tonight we're going to talk heavy winter coats and coat repair. This is an important subject right now because this weekend we have had temperatures such as negative 5 degrees. So I'm going to talk to you about some simple repairs on your coat to keep them functional and show you why it's important. So let's look at the price of a new coat. This is one that I have saved, I have put up. It's the next size larger. I'm going to bend down here and hopefully that picks it up. It's a $100 coat. Now, according to the pink sales sticker for pennies, it's $39.99, and I probably did not pay that much for it. Um, but when it gets very cold, you really do need um, these uh, parkas, and we do go skiing from time to time, so it's nice for that too. So. If I had to go out and buy a brand new coat, um, and if I paid full price for it, we're looking at $100. Not that I would pay full price for a coat, but coats are not cheap. All right, so let's take a look at the repair needed on this one first. This one, I'm gonna zoom in, and you can see that this zipper is coming out. I'm going to do a simple hand repair using some red thread. This one, um, the material is actually ripped and I'm going to use some fusible webbing with the iron and stick that down and then once that's stuck down I'm going to sew it. So I will check back in with you later. Good evening, welcome back. Okay, so on the first coat I hand stitched the zipper and then this one that has the torn pocket, I have tucked in uh, some fusible web. Uh, this is called interfacing. It's uh, somewhat of a, like an adhesive type fabric, but we're going to use this uh, to stick down this material. And then we're going to stitch it. Now I'm going to try and find some thread that mostly matches so that it's not very obvious. Okay, so per the directions, I have my iron set on wool, or the low setting. I'll try and tuck this down here a little bit more so that it's not obvious. All right. just supposed to press with the iron. And who knows how old this interfacing is. I just need it to stick down long enough to where I can get this stitched without everything moving around. Obviously this interfacing has seen better days. It came with the machine. That's not perfect, but it'll do the job for now. Okay, I'm getting ready to sew this jacket. On the top I have gray thread, and on the bottom I have a light green, so 
hopefully it will match and not be too obvious. I had a darker gray thread, um, but I don't know if you can tell. This thread is very coarse, and it just was not working right. So we're going to have to go with a, a lighter gray, and the repair may be a little obvious, but that's okay. So I'm actually going to start a little bit beyond the part of the rip and then we'll go into it. So that white interfacing that's showing. Let's see if we can clip that off. It doesn't show. Okay, now we want to make this, make sure this part is folded in properly. to do a little bit of a back stitch. Kind of reinforce that pocket. And bring it forward. Now we're going to spin the coat around. Now we're going to sew down this rip. And we're going to go beyond the part that it's ripped. Go ahead and reverse. Let's take a look. So this is what we have the rip looks like on the front. And again, this would have been better if I could have used the darker thread, but so be it. And then this is what we have on the inside. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great evening.